one of the first things which everybody should understand is that every creature in the universe that is in any way sensitive and in any manner of speaking conscious regards itself as a human being. That is to say, uh, it knows and is aware of a hierarchy of beings above it and a hierarchy of beings below it. If you take such a tiny creature as a fruit fly, which lives only a few days, it is aware of all sorts of weird little animals and objects and spores floating in the atmosphere which we don't even notice unless we've got a microscope around. Very few people have. And it criticizes them as being inferior animals and uh, all that sort of thing. And whereas human beings are things that it doesn't comprehend. Uh, they're in, as much outside its uh, intellect as a quasar is outside ours. And we see these far off objects floating in the heavens and we have only the vaguest idea of what they may be. Actually, we may all be some kind of uh, uh, atoms within uh, the hair on somebody's nose uh, in another dimension. <laughs> and all these galaxies being the constituent elements. Who knows? But there is, I think, a fundamental principle that everybody must understand uh, in order to know what is the meaning of the Tao or the Chinese sense of the course of nature and that is the principle of relativity. It's absolutely fundamental to an understanding of Taoist philosophy, relativity. That is to say that wherever you are and whoever you are and whatever you are, you're in the middle. You know, pick in the middle. That's the game. And you, you, you see, just in the same way as when you stand, say, on the deck of a ship and you can see a, a horizon all around you to exactly the same distance. You're in the center of a circle because your senses extend a certain direction, in all directions, and therefore give you the impression of being in the middle. Now, everything in the world feels like that.